Tilimuki was not well known. It was a very small village with few people, less than 100 residents. Now it's growing. People are coming here. Even people from Chilecito are moving here because it is a quiet place and safe for their children. We did not have water before. You could say that this town square was some sort of a corral because it was fenced. It did not have any lights and the land was absolutely dry with no vegetation. Since the new well has been built, we now have water. We are surrounded by green. We can now say that we have fewer worries. We can live well in whatever way we can, but we keep living. Fair trade has enabled these communities to change or improve their lives mainly due to the availability of drinking water. Another fair trade activity that is being developed is education, soon offering the possibility of a new secondary school for the young people from these local communities, which will train them in skilled labor for agriculture in this area. I have a son, and we hope that since I have worked here, he will come to the school and that he will enjoy studying, so that when he grows up, he will not have to work the way I do. Instead, he will have the chance to study and get a better job, and will not have to work under the heat of the sun, with a shovel and a pick. That's what any parent hopes for. We hope that in the future, he will work in an office, and that he will get a better education. My name is Gabriela Flores. I'm a general practitioner and I take care of the whole area. Sarmiento, San Nicolás, Tilimuki, Mashigasta, and Parcela de Mashigasta. And well, we handle things this way here. We recently got a health officer, but in some places like Mashigasta, they pick up the patients, bring them to us and we talk to them, and sometimes we even take the place of psychologists as much as we're able to. And if we realize that the situation is more complicated, we send them to Chilecito. Many times they go, other times they don't. They stay. And there are those patients that don't even get treatment and remain in God's hands. We find we get many cases of children with eye and ear conditions. Sometimes doctors see the patients and arrange to send glasses or hearing aids for the children. But on other occasions, they speak directly to the parents and give them the diagnosis so that they can take the children to the hospitals. And that's it. The problem is money. Around here, people have a very low income and mainly this area has problems, in particular Mashigasta and Tilimuki, because they don't have transportation. They have no way of going to Chilecito. There is no place where they can buy the medicine, and there is no one near to write a prescription for them. Sometimes there is no way to get someone to take you to Chilecito. Transporting a person who is sick or injured becomes a real problem here. A medical center would be the ideal solution between Tilimuki and Mashigasta. It would be like a dream, too good to be true, but hopefully a reality someday. It would solve many difficulties, many shortcomings, many weaknesses, from malnutrition, which includes long-established cases, dormant cases, and others which are just about to become malnutrition cases and need to be treated in hospitals under permanent control. I have children, and this is a benefit for my children and later on for my grandchildren, because it will not only be for today, it will be forever.